is News 3 Now at 6. We start with breaking news tonight. An Iowa County crash is causing backups for the evening commute. This is on 151 at County Highway A near Mineral Point. That crash happened just before 4.30 and there are still delays at this hour. It's a developing story. We don't know if there are any injuries. We do know that lanes are blocked in both directions. Let's go to Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with a first warn traffic update. Gary? Yeah, that affects uh, U.S. Highway 151 between Mineral Point and Belmont. Uh, the accident uh, just south of County Highway A. There are flagging operations reported in the area where they can let traffic around that a little bit but if you want to avoid the area uh, use County Highway A uh, Powell Road and Jericho Road as alternates to get around to the west of that area so if you are traveling between Belmont and Mineral Point uh, be aware for some uh, some major delays down there as we take a look at weather uh, right now the WIC sky cam just showing some clouds mixed in with some sunshine Platteville Queen Bee radio sky cam also showing about the same scene humidity levels are high but the rain chances are low, at least for southern Wisconsin. There are some showers and thunderstorms in the northern portion of the state, but nothing appears to be imminent here other than a few sprinkles just south of Beloit. Uh, computer model forecasts now are backing off on the rain over the next couple of days, maybe around a tenth to a quarter of an inch most areas, a few places getting heavier amounts in a heavier shower or thunderstorm. High temperatures today, lower 80s through most, most of southern Wisconsin. Janesville was 86. Right now, they're still at 84, and humidity levels are high with dew point temperatures in the lower to middle 60s. By tomorrow morning, we'll be down to about 68 in Madison, which is a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm overnight. Tomorrow, a chance of showers and thunderstorms during the day with a high of 79. Later on, I'll take a look at a forecast that includes cooler weather for the end of the week. Beloit College is certainly small compared to the UW schools in our area, but today campus leaders announced a policy they are hoping makes a big impact on COVID. Well, Christina Laurie explains why the school will require all students and staff get the vaccine. College leaders say the latest CDC guidelines make it, quote, crystal clear. The only way to return to a more normal campus at Beloit this fall is to require all students and staff get the vaccine. Beloit College students can check one item off their school supply list this fall, face masks. I think we all are at a point of wanting to reclaim our lives a little bit. They'll no longer be required since nearly all 1,100 students will be required to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Having a little bit of my finger on the pulse of students because I'm here every day working with students and, you know, have conversations with them regularly, I anticipate that the majority are actually going to be pretty excited about this. Tara Gerard, director of Beloit's Health and Wellness Center, fully supports her school's science-backed decision to mandate vaccination for all students faculty and staff. One of the things we've all learned over the last year is the minute you think you can predict the direction that all of this is going, it changes course. A fully vaccinated campus means most students will not need to wear masks or get regular COVID tests this fall. And they won't have to quarantine if they come in contact with someone who has tested positive. Certainly college students have had a really rough time the past year and a half and really had to change their college experience so dramatically. Tara will work individually with international students who are unable to get their shots before arriving on campus, as well as students who have questions about exemptions for medical or religious reasons. Although the COVID vaccine is new, requiring vaccinations is not. Already, most students are required to get shots to help prevent the spread of diseases like polio, diphtheria, and whooping cough. For News 3 Now, I'm Christina Lori. Now, we asked the UW system whether or not it will mandate vaccines this fall. Mark Pitch, director of media relations, said, quote, there is no change to President Thompson's position that vaccines are encouraged for UW system students, but not required. We continue to work with our universities to encourage students to receive a vaccine. Across Wisconsin, health officials confirm 151 new COVID cases today. The seven-day rolling average increased slightly to 329. One more person has died and 24 more people have been hospitalized in the past 24 hours. About 41% of Wisconsinites have completed the vaccine series. Almost 47% have gotten at least one dose. Here in Dane County, 56% of people have completed the series and 65% have gotten at least one dose. When Dane County's mask mandate ends next week, Wednesday, People will decide whether or not they are comfortable letting go of their masks. Well, there's a big group of people that doctors say should not get rid of those masks. Gabriella Becerra tells us why. Gabby? 
Well, families are going to decide to do whatever's best for them, but doctors recommend that any family members who might not be vaccinated yet don't let go of don't let go of your mask. Even though spread is slowing in Dane County, UW Health's Dr. Joseph McBride says masks are still the best protection against COVID-19 for unvaccinated people. He says kids should be wearing them in public, especially around others who aren't vaccinated. They can kind of revert back to the old way of doing things with those vaccinated people. But in large settings, you know, summer camps, schools, sporting events, these are still going to be large groups of people who lack protection because they don't have the vaccine. He says parents don't have to worry about bringing COVID home if they're fully vaccinated. And Dr. McBride says hopefully some relief will be coming soon. He's hoping that a vaccine could be approved for these younger kids before school starts in the fall. But until then, they should keep up the good practices. Gabriella Becker live tonight. Gabby, thank you. Developing tonight, the man accused of stabbing his mother and dog to death at their Iowa County home says he was possessed by the evil voices in his head. According to a criminal complaint, Sean Pickett called police May 10th to report the death of his mother Susan and dog Chico. When the Avoca police chief arrived, he says he saw Pickett with dried blood on his pants, shoes, and the front of his shirt. Pickett told investigators he went in and out of blacking out while hearing voices that told him to kill in order to find rest. He admitted to stabbing his mother in the throat multiple times, beating her with a metal bar. Pickett is being held on a $100,000 bond. UW Whitewater police are asking the community to help identify a suspect in his sexual assault that happened in broad daylight. The incident happened Saturday. Saturday, about 1230 in the afternoon, the suspect described as a male in his late teens, early 20s, who rode a mountain bike to and from where this assault happened. He was wearing Adidas athletic shorts, a gray t-shirt and wireless earbuds. Anyone with information is asked to contact UW Whitewater Police. Wisconsin Elections Commission data shows municipal clerks have referred nearly 30 people to prosecutors for voting illegally in the November presidential election. Now that was out of the nearly 3.3 million votes cast in the state. Clerks referred 11 people for voting twice and for voting illegally as a felon. 16 people in La Crosse County were referred to prosecutors for registering a UPS store as their address. Those 27 total cases undermined former President Trump's claims that fraud was rampant during the election. A bill that would ban transgender athletes from playing on the teams they identify with is up for a public hearing on Wednesday morning. Supporters of the Republican authored bill say the goal is to ensure competition in girls and women's sports is fair, but LGBTQ groups and allies protested the measure, saying it excludes people based on gender identity and expression. Today at a press conference in Reedsburg, Governor Evers made his stance clear. Anytime we, dec we decide to take a certain group of kids and uh, prevent them from uh, reaching their full potential, that's a problem. And in addition, uh, it is, and so I, I stand with trans kids. The governor also commented on Republicans announcing they plan to gavel in and gavel out of a special session to expand Badger Care tomorrow. Evers says he's amazed they are throwing away something 70% of Wisconsinites support. Republicans issued a response statement calling the press conference a political tactic. Representative Tony Kurtz and Senator Howard Markline said it was disappointing to learn the governor would be in their district within an hour's notice. Today, law enforcement agencies throughout Wisconsin are kicking off a click it or ticket enforcement effort. The DOT says this effort today through June 6 is happening because more people are traveling as pandemic related restrictions are lifted. Drivers caught in violation of the state seatbelt law may be ticketed and they can be cited for each unbuckled passenger in their vehicle. According to the Wisconsin State Patrol, the 11 percent of Wisconsinites who failed to buckle up accounted for 43 percent of all drivers and passengers killed in crashes a year ago. For the first time in 14 months, Madison's nine public libraries are open for in-person browsing and checkouts. You will notice new self-checkout machines. Children's play areas are not back open yet, and that's hard for families hoping to enjoy Penny Library's new space on the east side, which was only open for four days before the pandemic shut libraries down. Even after Dane County's mask mandate ends next week, the library system will still encourage people to wear them. The pandemic shook things up for all of us, how we work, play and learn with plenty of schools switching to virtual learning at least for part of the year. Many families and their students switched schools. For example, some private schools such as High Point Christian School in Madison saw a big increase and in interest in enrollment over the last school year. 
Yeah, I think on the surface there was a lot of rejection of virtual as the best way to do it and frustration. Um, it depends on the student how well that works. And um, I think parents wondered whether their kids were getting the kind of education they needed them to get. Private schools aren't the only ones that saw changes in enrollment. In part one of our News 3 Now series, The Virtual Impact, Madeline O'Neill looks into where students went and whether they will stick around this coming year. You can watch that tonight at 10. We'll be right back. Bring beauty and color to your yard this summer with help from Menards. Get a clean edge around your landscaping with Mastermark Terrace Board Lawn Edging featuring a wood grain texture. Pick up a 40-foot roll in black or brown today. All lawn edging is 11% off. Attract birds with Enchanted Garden Black Oil Sunflower Seed Bird Food. All Enchanted Garden Bird Seeds are 11% off. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. It's that time of year to hit the open road. To make sure your trip is safe, Meineke is now offering free brake pads. Call your Madison area Meineke for details. Meineke Car Care Center is here to help. They say you should wait 30 minutes to swim after you eat. Nobody said anything about slurping Arby's $1 floats. Seems like a great opportunity to slurp and splash. Arby's, we have the meat. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Savor the simple of Kemp's Simply Crafted Ice Cream. No artificial flavors, just loads of goodness. Kemp's Good Comes Around. Now in sandwiches and pints. Hi folks, Tuesday on News 3 Now this morning, ahead of the Memorial Day weekend, how a local organization is helping Wisconsin's homeless veterans. And Chris Reese is planning your day. Join us from 4.30 to 7 for News 3 Now this morning. A veterans group with WPS Health Solutions preparing for Memorial Day. Today they and WPS employees planted 1,000 American flags at the campus on West Broadway in Monona. They also held a walk to remember honoring our U.S. military personnel and veterans who have lost their lives. Participants could sign a banner with the names of people they wanted to remember. The city of Madison is celebrating Historic Preservation Month, focusing on a major restoration project on the Gates of Heaven Synagogue. Built in 1863, Gates of Heaven is the fourth oldest surviving synagogue in the nation. The building was moved to James Madison Park in 1971. The city imported mortar from France to do the work, which is especially delicate from a preservation perspective. This space is historic. The places of the windows, the things that we're not touching, the orientation, you know, the work that the fact that it's an, the oldest synagogue in the na one of the oldest in the nation, and the fact that it's masterful work by August Kutzbach um, makes it historically um, relevant. Well, the space is available for event rentals and is a popular location for intimate wedding ceremonies. Today at the Capitol, graduates from the Marquette Law School were admitted to the Wisconsin Bar. Last year, the swearing-in ceremonies were canceled due to COVID, so it was exciting to be back in person again. Graduates from Wisconsin Law Schools are automatically admitted into the state bar without needing to take an exam. Still ahead at six, applications are now open for small business recovery grants. We'll share details on how to apply. And a slight chance for showers and storms tonight. Gary will tell us when this humidity will die down in your forecast. Tonight on CBS, the night starts with The Neighborhood, followed by Bob Hart's Abishola. Then it's time for drama with All Rise and Bull. Then get a complete wrap-up of the day's news on News 3 Now at 10. This is a Wisconsin farmer. She grows the locally sourced freshness, the freshness that complements the wild-caught salmon, the salmon that tees up the cheesecake, the cheesecake that sweetens every moment. Festival Foods. We are Wisconsin. 
Isn't it great how swinging through Culver's drive through marks the unofficial start to family time? How biting into a hot off the grill butter burger makes worries melt away? And how a fresh frozen custard concrete mixer puts a smile on your face every time? Here, a meal you didn't have to make is a meal made fresh for you. And being greeted with a smile, even beneath a mask, makes all the difference. There's a reason we put so much care into our food. That reason is you. Welcome to Delicious. For many of us, Memorial Day marks the official start of summer. So at Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we're here to help you celebrate with great deals on summer essentials during our Memorial Day sale. Like Men's Lee Extreme Motion Shorts, just $24.99. These 50-foot extension cords, $39.99. And this Milwaukee Power Supply and Battery, just $149. Bucks. Plus, to show our gratitude, we're giving all veterans and active military members 10% off their entire purchase. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. When it comes to internet and TV, Spectrum has the competition beat. Really? Can you keep up with all this? Yes. With faster download speeds and better performance, Spectrum is the number one choice for gamers. Switch now with the fastest internet starting speeds for the price, 200 megabits. That's enough speed to game, surf, stream, and more on all your devices. Get Spectrum internet for $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Okay, but what about TV? It's not easy to find something that works for everyone. Spectrum TV with a free Spectrum TV app lets you watch live sports, local news, and more on your TV and on your devices. And unlike satellite, there's no ugly dish on your roof. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-742-4499. Too bad I'm in a contract. Stuck in a contract? Spectrum will buy it out up to $500. Seriously? And you won't have to sign a new one. Don't wait. Switch today. Awesome. Nice. Yes! Get Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-742-4499. This is a Wisconsin Brewmaster. He brews the local craft beer. The beer that washes down the Oktoberfest broth. The broth that pairs with the potato salad. The potato salad that befriends the burger. The burger that tastes like victory. Festival Foods. We are Wisconsin. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Welcome back. Applications are now open for $420 million in state-run small business recovery grants. Grants will provide $5,000 awards to up to 84,000 Wisconsin businesses. Funding is from federal money the state received through the American Rescue Plan. For more information on how to apply, visit the Wisconsin Department of Revenue's website. The deadline is 4.30 p.m. on June 7th. Well, the segment of the Ice Age Trail got a boost this weekend from some Boy Scouts. Drew Sutherland reports from our partner station in Wausau. We, we wanted to do it for the Ice Age Trail because our troop uses the Ice Age Trail so much. So it was a really nice thing for them to just be able to just do a project for them. Cole Morehouse reached out to the Ice Age Trail Alliance, a volunteer group that does most of the building and maintaining the trail. The Alliance has is building a number of bridges in this particular area. Um, and so we found one that was workable within one day of prep on one day of on the trail. Still, Morehouse knew that a project this big would need help from others. Well, I asked the troop for volunteers. We have about a 50-person troop, so I asked the troop mainly, and then all their adults usually come from the troop, too. To earn the rank of Eagle Scout, a Boy Scout has to complete an impactful public service project. I probably put at least, like, 10 hours into just, like, making that plan, um, communicating with Jerry, our project beneficiary, to get all the um, specifics out of the materials, and the blueprints and everything. We've got standards that the Ice Age Trail wants us to meet when we're doing any of these type projects in terms of the structure appearance and uh, structure strength. Kraus says Morehouse is helping with the development of the Ringle segment of the trail. Um, by keeping the uh, trail off, off the, the muddy areas, um, we keep that from uh, eroding the mud and soils underneath as we uh, as people are walking the trail um, and it keeps their boots dry. Morehouse says it's a win-win. I just think it's a really great project because it's, it's good for the Ice Age Trail and it gets everyone everyone moving and gets some service hours in so yeah. Drew Sutherland reporting. Cole said he's not going to waste a minute in applying for the rank of Eagle and as soon as the service project is done he's going to get started on his getting his paperwork together. 
Gary joins us now with the latest on shower and storm chances for this week. Well, unfortunately, the very latest computer model forecasts show those chances going down a little bit over the next day or two, but hopefully we'll have better chances for rain toward the end of the week. Over the last 48 hours, our northern viewing area got a pretty healthy soaking. Many areas about one to two inches of rain from just north of La Crosse to Camp Douglas to the Dells to around Beaver Dam and then into uh, the eastern portions of Dodge County, south of Madison, southern Dane County, northern and northwestern Rock County, northeastern Green County, almost no rain there. High resolution Doppler radar right now, a few sprinkles uh, right around Beloit, maybe even a developing thunderstorm uh, over toward Clinton, but other than that, rest of southern Wisconsin rain free. Most of the shower and thunderstorm activity is in the northwestern portion of the state where there's a possibility for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm tonight with gusty winds and hail being the main threats. Tomorrow the severe weather threat shifts southeastward and covers much of southern Wisconsin, but it may be a situation where a few people get a strong to uh, maybe isolated severe thunderstorm and some heavy downpours and many people miss out on the rain altogether. So it's going to be one of those types of situations. Over the last seven days, you can see where most of the rain has fallen. From eastern Iowa, southeastern Minnesota, much of northern and central Wisconsin and areas north of Madison, but south of Madison, less than a half inch in most areas, maybe some one to two inch amounts across parts of eastern Iowa and north uh, western Illinois. But you can see Chicago and eastward, very little in the way of precipitation in that area is in a severe drought. And over the next couple of days, the uh, shorter range future track computer model shows generally about a tenth to a quarter of an inch over southern Wisconsin. Some areas may, may be missing out altogether. And a few places where a heavier shower or thunderstorm tracks might see an inch or an inch and a half of rain, but it's hard to tell exactly where those locations will be. A little more widespread precipitation expected toward the end of the week, uh, perhaps another quarter to uh, three quarters of an inch of rain uh, as we head into uh, the latter part of this week. And then some shower and thunderstorm chances toward the middle of next week, perhaps bringing another one inch or so uh, in showers and thunderstorms. But when you talk about thunderstorms, a lot of that tends to be more spotty precipitation. We're down an inch and a half compared to normal for the month, almost five inches compared to the season, and about five and a half inches since the start of the year. So we could use the rain. Three things you need to know, though. The shower and thunderstorm chances will be mainly through Tuesday night. Wednesday should be dry, and then we'll see better chances for showers and maybe some isolated thunderstorms with cooler weather for Thursday afternoon into Friday morning. So our forecast for tomorrow calls for a high temperature of 79 degrees. There'll be some chances for showers and thunderstorms, but you can see on future track where, how sparse those chances will be. Tonight, very little in the way of rain chances. Low temperatures, upper 60s with high humidity. Some shower and thunderstorm chances maybe tomorrow afternoon. Computer models even backing off on that. Maybe a little round tomorrow evening, and then we dry out for Wednesday with temperatures still in the mid-70s, but less humidity. Again, those rainfall amounts spotty where they occur. Some areas could pick up some heavy amounts, but most areas picking up very little. 7 to 10 day forecast, rain chances Thursday afternoon into Friday morning with co uh, cool weather there. A warm up through the Memorial Day weekend with just a slight chance for a thunderstorm on Memorial Day and some better chances for showers and thunderstorms in the middle of next week. And coming up in sports, Aaron Rodgers, a no-show for day one of Green Bay's OTAs when his misses will cost him some money. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Wild East Town Honda, lease a new all-wheel drive CRV with sunroof for $309. That's $309 and absolutely zero do it signing. At Wild East Town Honda in Madison. It's gotta be wild. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them. Why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. 
Is your credit score getting in the way of the things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit offer fast and flexible lending. Borrow up to $10,000 and choose repayment terms that work for you. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. It's Steinhoffel's Memorial Day Sale. Take 35% off store-wide and save big on the styles you want. A queen mattress, just $349. Or this dual reclining sofa, $699. This queen bed, now $749. This five-piece dining set, just $999. Or get the patio ready for summer with this three-piece set, only $999. Plus, with Steinhoffel's special financing, you save even more. Only at Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. No one sells more. Wild Automotive sells more SUVs and all-wheel drives combined than any other dealer. Wild is the number one volume SUV and all-wheel drive retailer in Southeast Wisconsin. The more we sell, the more you save. WildAuto.com. COVID-19 is changing how and where kids learn. Our challenge has been to create as normal as possible school in the midst of crazy. Madeline O'Neill tracks enrollment trends that could have a virtual impact on schools for years. Tonight on News 3 Now at 10. The Packers were on the field for the start of their organized team activities and one big name wasn't in attendance, Aaron Rodgers, but it's not a huge surprise. The OTAs are voluntary. voluntary. Now, the three-day mandatory minicamp, that begins June 8th. If he skips all three of those days, he'll be fined over $93,000. The Packers QB is expected to appear on SportsCenter tonight as a guest on Kenny Mayne's last show. It was far from pretty, but thanks to Chris Middleton's jumper, the Bucks grinded out an overtime win against the Heat to take a one-game lead in their series. Game two tips off in around 10 minutes, and with there's only being one day in between games, there was a lot of film watching in Milwaukee, and Coach Budenholder knows the difference between a two-game lead or a tied series comes down to making the little adjustments. They could shoot 100 threes, or they could try and score 100 points in the paint. You know, that's... It's basketball. Um, they're very familiar with us. We're very familiar with them. Um, it's going to be hard to score. And, uh, you know, so I, I think we just have to be prepared and, and be ready to, to, you know, to improve and get better from game one to game two. Cole Caulfield sat and watched the first two games of Montreal's playoff series with Toronto. And that's not going to be the case tonight in game three. The former Badgers making his postseason debut and hopes he can provide a little offensive spark to the squad just like he did back in Madison. And as far as Caulfield goes, this spot is why he's here. There's a lot of excitement. Um, obviously, it's a playoff game. We need to bring the energy, and um, I was put in here to help the team win and, and do the things that I can to, to you know, increase our chances. So um, I'm obviously excited. I um, think I'm in here to you know, spark the team, you know, give us energy, and, um, and help us win. So... I'm going to do everything I can. Luke Cunning doing everything he can to keep the Predators in their series against the Hurricanes. The former Badger tallied two goals yesterday, including the game winner in double overtime to even the series at two. Game five is tomorrow night. And fresh off winning their third straight title, third straight conference tournament title on Saturday, Whitewater hosting the regionals. First game is Thursday. Gary? Well, a few showers and thunderstorms, but mainly over the northwestern part of the state. We'll have to wait until tomorrow for better chances for rain here. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Enjoy your evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.